This is the instructional video for part number 10, Straight Track. I'm going to begin with a new file, standard IPT. I'm going to start my sketch using the XZ plane. And I'm going to begin by making an overall rectangle starting at the origin. And this overall rectangle is going to have a height of 3.4. Let me go ahead and type that in right now, and if I press tab, it allows me to get my second dimension in here. Let's see a little better. So my height is 3.4, and my length of this rectangle is going to be 12. I'll just right-click OK, and I'm going to move these dimensions out a little bit. You're going to see that I'm going to need a little room over here once I get going. And I'm going to start with the open end of the straight track. And that begins by creating a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and put a circle on the right side. And this circle has a radius of 0.75. So if I go ahead and type in 0.75 and use my shortcut on the keyboard of Shift 8, it gives me the multiplication symbol. And I'm going to use that to multiply it by 2 so that I double the radius. You'll see that it turns out to be 1.5. I'm going to dimension that circle from the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and select my dimension, then circle, and grab the bottom of my rectangle, and I need this dimension to be 1.7. Mine is automatically there because I constrained it when I first drew the circle, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 1.7. I now need to dimension the circle again to the right side of the rectangle, and then that dimension needs to be 1 inch. I need to create a cutout in this section right here. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, and I'm going to draw a line from the center of my circle to the right side of my rectangle. You're not going to really be able to see it because it's going to blend in with this extension line from this 1.7 inch dimension. But I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of the circle and reach out until I grab the edge of the rectangle. I'm going to right click OK, and you can see it's a little darker than my extension line. I'm going to grab the offset tool, and I'm going to select that line that I just drew, and I'm going to bring it up. And I need this offset to be 0.325. I'm going to go ahead and offset the same line going down this time, 0.325 again. So if I right-click OK, you're going to see that I have offset this line and this line to create this cutout. So if I use my Trim tool, I'm going to select the extension of this line and this line, and then I'm going to cut the opening of the circle here and the opening of the rectangle here and here. If I right click OK, you can see that I now have this opening inside my straight track. I need to fill it, the edge here, and to do that, I'm going to place a 0.19 inch fillet right here at this intersection of the circle and this horizontal line. So if I use my Fillet tool. I'm going to change the dimension first to 0.19, and I'm going to click the lines that create this intersection. It's this horizontal line and my circle, and then again down here, horizontal line and the circle. And if I right-click OK, you can see that it has created this nice arc right here. I'm going to move to the left side of my straight track, and this time I'm going to create a circle that's on the outside of the rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and put a circle out here, and this has a radius of 0.7. So if I type in 0.7 and use the keyboard shortcut for asterisk, which is Shift-8, and then multiply that by 2, I now have a 1.4 inch. This diameter has to be smaller than this diameter to ensure that this piece can connect into here. I now need to dimension it from the bottom of the train, so I'm going to select my circle. I'm going to grab the bottom horizontal line of my train, and this distance needs to be 1.7, just like on the right side. I am going to dimension it now, this circle, to the left side of the train track, right here. And this dimension needs to be 1. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'll right-click OK just to clear up some of these dimensions here. Let's see a little better. I am going to use my line tool, and I'm going to go from the center of the circle to the side of my rectangle. And then I'm going to use the offset tool again. I'm going to grab that center line, and I'm going to offset this line 0.3 to the top. And I'll use the same here, and I'm going to offset 
this center line down 0.3. Right click OK just to clear up my screen a little bit here and I'm going to use the trim tool and I'm going to trim the extensions of these lines, this portion of the circle, and these lines here on the rectangle. I'll right click OK and you can see this extension here. This piece will go into the other one on the right side if I were to extend these extrusions. So if I use my fillet tool again, I'm going to make sure that this is 0.19 and I'm going to click the two lines that make up the intersection. So here's my horizontal line and my circle. I'll do the same down here, horizontal line and my circle. And I'll right click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out and, and I will use the finish sketch command and I'm going to want to extrude this up and the distance of this is one inch so I can select my profile and I'm going to say OK after this defaults at one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on this face. And what I want to do is I want to project the geometry on both of those rectangles. So I'm going to select the left rectangle and the right rectangle. I'm going to right click OK. And I'm going to add a rectangle to this up top. And what I want to make sure is when I grab this rectangle, I'm just going to place it up here. I want to make sure that it's not geometrically constraining to any piece. So now I shouldn't see any dotted lines or green dots appear. And I just want this to appear. And I'm also not going to constrain it and get that line to appear. So I'm just going to make this just a little longer. But there is no dimension. I'm going to dimension the distance from the left side of my straight track to the left side of this rectangle. And that distance is going to be 0.4. I'm going to dimension the left side of my straight track again to the right side of that rectangle. And that distance needs to be 0.75. I'm going to right click OK just to bring these dimensions down a little bit so they're in view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click dimension and I'm going to grab the left side of the track again to the left side of the far rectangle. And this distance needs to be 2.65. And then I'm going to click again the left side of the rectangle to the right side of that second small rectangle. And this distance needs to be 3. I need to now do the height of the rectangle. So I'm going to click the top of my straight track to the bottom of my rectangle. And this distance needs to be 0.1875. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Click the top of the straight track to the bottom of my rectangle. And this distance needs to be 0.1875. Once I've completed that, I'm going to right click OK and I will finish sketch. And I'm going to click the extrude command. And I need to grab both of these rectangles. And if I come up here to where it says distance, I'm going to change that to all. And you'll see that it automatically decides to make it a cut extrusion because it's going through material. And I'm going to say OK. And that is the completion of part number 10, straight track.